Yeah, go, please. Hi, good morning. We are from Cecilia. Uh, we are doing a winning arrest for telling in Chinese to the police and then they Uh, so what to give is uh, 
employees uh, have to uh, understand what exactly uh, they are to do in their job. And uh, it includes uh, defining their job responsibilities and uh, what tasks uh, they have to do uh, in the company. Then uh, we have, uh, do I belong to the organization? So um, the, uh, the employee have to know uh, what, uh, what is their um, places in the company. And then uh, finally we have, uh, how can I go? So, uh, it's uh, how can they grow in the company uh, with, their, um, with their responsibilities and how they can help this one uh, to grow uh, in the market. Mm, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Um, in these four countries. And the reason cause talent gap between supply and demand are all different. However, employers in great countries were the most likely to complain the challenge in recruiting high skill labor. And according to this chart, uh, great countries do have more need 
poor professionals compared to developed countries. So, uh, how to shorten the gap? Well, we find seven responses to fix this issue. Mm -hmm. And uh, the first one is to uh, introduce strategic for forest planning. It enables uh, public and private organizations to determine their talent risk and its urgency. But what can we do uh, specifically? The first one is we can define job families um, based on required qualifications and do labor supply modeling. And the last one is to point out future demand for employees. The second response is to ease migration. Skilled migrants fill critical gaps that exist regardless of economic conditions. But the problem is, uh, since the economic turndown has triggered more restrictive uh, immigration policies across the globe, countries are reducing quotas, setting tougher entry requirements, and refusing to renew temporary work permits even for highly skilled workers. So, um, in order to fill future critical gaps, efforts to loosen restrictive migration have to begin now. And uh, developing a migration friendly culture and brand is important to foster migration of talent. On the other hand, we need to fix stranger and like this, uh, which has been a concern for developing countries. Since large numbers of uh, skilled workers are moving to develop and developing countries for temporary contracts, so what brings circulation here? For example, to reach out to the 25 million Indian living abroad, Le India has established a ministry of overseas Indian affairs. This service, including scholarship and educational program for Tisvara uh, children, a No India program, and a community welfare fund. So at the end, what brings people home is opportunity and quality of life. And the next one is to develop a, to develop a talent service, which means that uh, developing people's individual skill sets. Actually, uh, special, specialized skill sets require years to master, uh, but it's, it's essential to start people on these pathways five to ten years, which is very long, before these skills will be required. And the next one is to encourage in, uh, temporary mobility and virtual work. It's no longer necessary to move people to where the jobs are or move the job to where the people are. Flexible working hours and virtual uh, office support a performance based on work culture in which results are more highly valued than physical in the office. But in the meantime, challenges appear like regulation and labor work are not good enough for virtual work. The next one is to extend the talent pool by establish um, policies to tap into the skills sets for women or professionals and the disadvantaged and the immigrant, immigrants. We should make good use of talent from other people that we don't really consider as human resource. And the last one is to increase employability. The fact is, employers are begging for qualified applicants, and governments are pushing the private sector to create jobs and provide vocational training. Then, um, how can we do to resolve this mismatch? Well, governments, they do need to prioritize educational so that we can transform human resource. Very good, and nice to the answer session. Yeah, thank you. So now I'm going to speak about the importance of the employees and companies. So, like I'm already saying, I'm to try the employee for company. First, we have to know that uh, in emerging market, it's easy for an employee to move and change the job for a better one because the rate of employment is higher. So, a different method exists to attract people in the company. 
principles they can use promises and other promises like for the brains, the opportunity, purpose, also to use rewards and talk about the culture of the company. So we saw the example of three famous companies using three different methods. So the first company is CSB, uh, China Bank. The second one is HCL Technology, a famous Indian company. And the last one is Lenovo, a China company of electronics. So the CSB case, uh, the main idea of the, this company is to talk about the culture. They have an important culture which is to say that they are support local communities. Uh, it's not about pay, he says, I could go elsewhere and earn more or small. That's why an employee say about uh, his job in this company. That proves that he's not care about money but more about the value that he share with the company, so he could be more invest in his job. Uh, the CSB is a meritocracy company. So what is a meritocracy? It's an elite of group of people whose progressing is based on ability and talent rather than class privilege or wealth. It's also a system in which such persons are rewarded and advanced. That shows that merit is um, defining the, the hierarchy of the company. So it will help people to invest more in the job. Uh, so what employees search in the company, what they want to work for? First, they, some, or like we saw in the CSV company, they want to share the same values. Uh, they also want a promise of an accelerated career so that they can develop themselves. Uh, they want opportunity for everyone and not just for a certain kind of people and employees. They want uh, to be uh, recognized so that they can feel better. They also want rewards, so that can be uh, an official rewards or official rewards. I mean, it can just be a compliment, and uh, it uh, can also be um, an increase of wage or to be uh, elected over the of the month. And they also want a custom career planning because each employee is unique. We'll develop it. Uh, so the second company is HCL. So the, the uh, current president is Vina Tinaya since 2005, and he decided to completely change uh, the um, management inside the company. So he invests the uh, pyramid. I mean, the, this main idea is employee first and customer second. So as you can see the pyramid, customers are now uh, in the low part. So he wants to focus on the employee development, the empowerment, uh, the values focused on employee, and the ability to innovate and to feel better, to be more invested in the job, etc. And uh, he did an innovative management system with four main points. The first one is the transparency. It's, he creates a program which if each one can uh, ask a uh, question to anybody in the company. Himself. Uh, the second part is a smart service desk. So um, when a company has any kind of problem, it just open a ticket in the forum and then uh, the problem is directly assigned to the service. So it's easy to, for the company to solve the problem. The third one is a 360 feedback. So anyone which is in relationship with the manager can evaluate him and then the results can be seen by anybody. And the last one is the trust pay. Uh, for the salaries of the employees, 60% is fixed pay and 30% is viral pay, depending to the company company. So there is strength and limits for this method. The main point is that it facilitates employee development. Uh, it's also a gap between manager and employee which are more close. Um, it also allows employees to grow professionally, but also personally in their uh, own career. They make them feel good, uh, they are also more recognized, and uh, the system that we saw before can also solve really the problem inside the company. But there are also limits. First, uh, manager can do not feel out of place waiting to employees. They can feel a little disappointing because they are can feel the same way. Right? Um, they can also feel uncomfortable if they obtain bad results and everybody can solve that. 
uh, and if there is a data processing problem, how can they manage it with uh, the tickets on the forum? It's also, there is also an incapacity to respond to all the tickets. I mean, uh, in the area, I received two more tickets on question, and it's impossible for him to respond to all of them. Uh, and there are some jobs for the trust pay who are not directly linked with a government company like uh, engineer social, so it's not really a good idea to, to do it for all the employees. And uh, the last company is Lenovo. So the idea is that each employee is unique, they want to accelerate uh, the development of opportunities. And uh, what is really innovating is that they construct a career map for each employee. So it's related to the objective of the employees, their experiences, expectation, education, but also the development that they need to reach their goals. So that's really innovative. And the limit of this company is that it can be difficult to find the right job for each employee because it can be lack of, of post of job. And the research of all these um, this objective experiences can take too much time for the company. It's going to be a lack of time. Mm. So globally, what, what we can say is that each company can develop a specific method to attract in the company. Uh, and employee is unique, important for the company. In the text is writing cream rise to the top. That means that a good person or IT cannot go and apply it for long. We will necessarily saw it uh, one time. Your potential is limited one only by your dedication, effort, and ability to produce results. That's uh, the company wants want to say that they want to encourage employees in their job um, in the possibility to develop themselves. To have a custom career, career etc. Thank you. Uh, very good comment. Yeah. So, so I'm going more deeply talk about the example in China. Standard Charter Bank. Uh, Standard Charter Bank provides a raw talent superhighway to attract and retain good people by two ways by manual, um, managerial training and development, and by global network and leadership development. Standard Charter Bank in, in China uh, provides this component to, to attract people, which will introduced by the other group, so I'm just going more deeply. And Standard Charter Bank, we analyze it. it uh, the new talent compact must be Char uh, char 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 characterized by dual principles of promise made and promise kept. Mm -hmm. And promise made reflects the company's sense of purpose, its grand promise and opportunities. It provides for talent to grow and develop a pace in keeping with the growth of the enterprise. And promise kept reflects the culture <coughs> and Climate, uh, climate, climate that the company has crea created that will enable to enable to keep its promise. And promise keep and promise spend is more about providing a compelling sense of purpose in the organization. Wait, wait, wait. It's more creating cultures wait. by authority, uh -huh. okay. authenticity and con connectivity and meritocracy. And we analyze the SB, SCB in two different perspectives. One prospect is from the Chi a Chinese employee. Uh, there are more resource sharing in satisfactory and support from a cross function are easy to gain. And the other is work-life balance is easy to obtain. And the other is good geography mobility like we like we talked uh, previous that with Jabio mobility is like um, uh, the company provide more chance for the employee to to travel to uh, to work in different offices in China. At least the domestic or the international. Yes. Okay. And the perspective from SCB, they are a uh, particularly strong increase in the number of employees in many of our core 
strategic market and bring imaging women leaders together and the building of our management skills. In 2007, SCB focused on increasing the proportion of women in senior positions, especially among the senior management in China and Hong Kong. Thank you. Kim, right? Kim. No. No. Oh, Kim. Oh, you Kim, sorry. So, concerning the needs, so for the diversity of the culture, uh, we uh, don't manage by the same way as our domestic talent. Uh, so, they need to adapt and develop uh, the strategy in order that it works in the uh, BRICS companies. But uh, despite this, um, we have to, uh, as said in the article, to establish a call on local talent. Um, so we have to uh, maintain uh, uh, local employees and uh, the local image of the, of the country. And uh, it's also important to have a background of the energy countries. Mm. And uh, then uh, this article said that uh, it's not easy to embrace and uh, leverage the mm. diversity. So uh, I would say the competitive oh, to know how to oh, manage man. the university and so you need, need to maintain local talent. <coughs> and uh, the English uh, language don't have to be a criteria of talented people, but generally nowadays uh, 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 it's important to have a lot of people. I'm not sure. 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 I'm not Thank you. Thank you. So to conclude, uh, we can say that there is no form, uh, magic formula to attract uh, talent. Uh, each company with each country is very uh, special, and uh, each model is different. And the more important, I think, is uh, money is not enough to attract talent, and we 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 can give uh, like advice uh, to be original and uh, differentiate with another company and uh, offer more than money, like responsibility or something like that, and propose a draft of development. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Okay. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Very good. Thank you. Yeah, very good uh, comment, analysis, and suggestion from you. Huh?